All right, come on. So let's get let's get right to it. The album is out. Uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, Kendrick Lamar, his final offering with TDE, mm-hmm. uh, dual stream project. Yeah, the dual, double disc thing is still weird yeah. to me in streaming, but it's cool. What you mean? I feel like it should be two albums almost. Like they should do it as two different releases or something. I don't know. It's weird a double album being. It's, it's yeah, so don't try album. to take a, a weapon away from the artist. No, two different releases. And now we got to fight with the label for the, no. Ugh. Would you be, wait? I'm I'm kind of lost. If it's a double album, I mean, well, double disc or something, right? But because there's no disc, you're saying? Yeah, it's just weird. I don't know why. It just it's weird to me. But it definitely, I'm sure it counts differently. Yeah, that's what I want to know. I guess. So I guess that's the the crux of my uh, okay. like. How does this count? If it's yeah, is this two albums? Is it? I was about to ask. Is it technically two? Joe says. I, I say. I say yes. I say no. I say it's a double disc. Like disc one, disc two, but right. because it's not discs, they're just calling it a double album. But a double disc did count as two. Yeah, he's two that, yeah. Yes. It so did. like Diplomatic yeah. Community was two albums. Yeah. All Eyes on Me, The Biggie. All George. that shit. Is, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, see, okay, I learned something new. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Okay. And that's where some of the fight has always been between artists and label, right? Like mm-hmm. back in the day, it used to take mad long to get a project out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we want to count two, and that's just a fight. That's artists. Artist leverage. Huh. Like the label used to control the drop. Right. So, no, it wouldn't behoove you to separate the release sometimes, circumstantially. Um, what do you think? I, learned something. I loved it, man. I'm not going to lie. I loved it. I was thrown off. Well, I wasn't thrown off. It was a lot to digest the first time through, listening through. And I was like, I don't, this might take me a while. But then I said, you know what? Let me put it right back on again. That's what I did. And the second time, that shit is incredible to me. First listen, I was I was damn near skip skip skip. Mm. <clears throat> I didn't skip nothing, but no, I, I didn't press skip. But it, you know, you just hear something. Like, uh, I'm listening because I, you know, Kendrick can give you some shit that you're gonna miss. Yeah, like 98 percent of the time. Facts. So when I first pressed play on this album, I did something I never did before. I had the lyrics up at the same time. I want to read it. As I'm listening to it, oh, you're a nerd. Yeah, you act. I nerd it out. Yo, you acting bad with your eyes. Hey, listen, <laughs> I, I, I want to read anything I can now. Hey, Alex, he acting bad. He's showing up. Uh, <laughs> you see me? You see me? But um, so yeah, I ain't want to miss nothing. So first listen through, I had my standout records. They already had the lyrics up. Yeah, that's impressive. It was pretty quick. That's impressive. I was kind of shocked, but they were ready. So um. Like I said, first listen through, I have my standout records. Well, you, a lot of well, it, you I was have to send. Well, not have to, but maybe play your project for somebody or send lyrics in. Yeah, yeah. I think, but they usually it don't be that fast that that they give you them get up to lyrics the up. Usually, it'd be a little while. I didn't. Up on... I didn't hit play at exactly midnight. Oh, okay. So I was maybe like one something. So yeah, I think I was too actually. Yeah, by the yeah, time I left the too. event thing, it was late. So, but um, well, no, and uh, Apple broke for me. Apple was broke. I'm one of those guys. Mm. That report, that was me. Oh, the, the Apple Music uh, <laughs> outage or something? Yeah, whatever the fuck was going on. They kept showing me albums from two weeks ago and last week. Mm. Close it. I cut the phone on and off. They would not show me the album. I had to literally type it in 30 minutes later and it popped up. Oh, wow. Damn, that's literally, crazy. my son next to me, it's right on his screen. New release. Wow. Yeah. Yours was still showing the old Oh, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. For oh, sure. So, But, nah. um, yeah, like I said, after I got through the album, immediately there was a few records that stood right out. Now, I did hear, I had got a phone call, and they like, yo, I'm going to play you something off this album. This was early yesterday, and it was like a minute of We Cry Together. I didn't know what record it was. I just heard that, and I was like, oh, shit, he's spazzing like this on the album? So my <laughs> anticipation went a little higher. Sure. I don't really like the, um, how do y'all could say it? This, this, the the poetry slam raps. I'm I'm kind of cool off those. Okay. But this album has something for everybody. Like for the, I think if you love to pimp a butterfly, it's some shit on here that you're gonna love. Absolutely. Person like me, I don't particularly like to pimp a butterfly. So those records, I move them to the side, and then it's shit on here that I love. Mm. Like he, he, I thought he was it, very. Yeah. This this leaned very to Pimp a Butterfly to me, so I was already worried about your take coming in to this. I, I was, just gotta go back and listen to Pimp to Pimp a Butterfly, yo. 
Huh? Which, I got to go back and listen to, it's a great to album. Pimp a Butterfly. It's a great album. I didn't like it at first. I do not. I do not remember liking this album. I don't like this album at all. I mean, it's, it's this maybe was three what songs Ice is saying this. about this project about it being too preachy. This was too something for mm. me. Yeah, at first I didn't. Well, I'm not I saying this like, whole project is like that. I'm just no, saying no, no, he got no, records but, that sound like they could fit right on this project. Facts. And which I, I want later tell me which ones y'all think those is those are. But right. anyway, continue. Please. Well, yeah. So. I, once I start hearing a little bit of that, I'm like, okay, he's going here. Like, I was getting let down a little bit. But it's some bops. Can I get too. the records where you were, like, the points Oops. in the project uh, where you were in feeling 95. this way? Wait, wait, which way? Not in 95. No, no, no. You talking about good or bad? Uh, preachy and bad. Um, I think the intro felt a little bit like that. Uh... I've been listening so much, I don't even remember the names of these records, except the ones I like. Yeah, yeah, the ones I like is what I know. But um, he pulled it through. And I was shocked to see Kodak on here so much. Yeah. I didn't get that at first. I just saw the feature. I was like, he got a Kodak feature. Kodak goes. So I was, I I play in order. I don't do that jump around. I want to hear it the way you designed it to be presented. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't wait to get to the record, though. But then I'm hearing them on something else, and I'm like, wait a minute. Is, 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 yeah, I'm like, is my shit fucked up or something? But, but overall, I, I'm not ranking this album at all. I just told people on my timeline, don't ask me. I'm not ranking it. This needs to, I have to live with this for a minute before I could even give a proper ranking on it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you that. can give a proper review on it, really. You nope, can just kind of give what, what we have you can so just far. have a conversation. You know yeah, 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 conversation. Yeah, yeah. This is but, what I got so But far. I will say, I like the album. Mm. And that's enough for me right now. I like the album. It's 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 quite a few records that I don't like, but out of eighteen, I'm happy with the percentage that I do like. And that's my take on on this project. Not mad at it. I think it's a a, a perfect. Uh, it's like a culmination of the first five projects with TDE or whatever to me. It's got a little bit of each one of them. It's got some butterfly shit on there. It's got damn shit on there. And I think that's impressive and difficult to do. And probably, I don't know if it was intentionally done like that. Like, or if that's just where he is right now. With him, I believe everything's intentional. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. He's one of the minds where it's it's all intentional. Mm -hmm. Like Kendrick is, I got Kendrick and that Kanye bag when it comes to an album. Oh, yeah. Whereas I try to not go in with any expectation because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to get. Facts. And I also understand that this is a great. Same thing with Kanye. Like, I might go in thinking it's going to sound like the last project, mm. and then that's how you get let down. Right. But he's going to put some great shit on here if you just give it a chance to be great on its own. Yeah. And that's, that's those two fit in that bag. So I, I don't have any, like, even going in, I didn't know what to expect outside of that little bit I heard from We Cry Together. Mm-hmm. And that record is nuts. That one, there's a couple that are insane. The uh, what is it, Auntie Auntie oh, Diaries? Oh yeah, uh, that one. And uh, I mean, the the highlights to me is Mother I Sobers. Man, man. Yeah, Auntie Diaries is is nuts. Was it you said Mother I Sober right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That last verse for me on yeah. Mother I Sober is. That's the best verse I've heard in a long time. Yeah. And that's just off a few listens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, and again, I have to hear this. I have to hear this project again. I don't I don't have a like y'all said, I don't have a review. Mm-hmm. I need to sit. It took him five years to do it. Mm-hmm. Through writer's block and all this other shit that he detailed in here, he's just been sitting back watching us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not motivated. Yeah. Like, I'm watching all you niggas and I get nothing. It seemed like he was taking notes. Just well, all the shit that's going on in the world. Think about his letter that he wrote. You get what I'm saying? Like, just taking little notes of all the shit that sure. has been really transpiring, all the shit that's been in the media a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just taking notes and then he just... Came out and talked about it. And talk about it, he did. All of it. And all Everything. of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this yeah. album. No, no this puzzle. Album, this, y'all. Album, this album was literally him holding a mirror up to everybody saying, look at yourselves. Uh-huh. He was talking to y'all. That's exactly what he was doing. I'm telling all of you about yourselves. Everybody. For real? Yeah. 
them niggas. But also about himself and like, about, at the yes, same time. Yes. Like it was very uh vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Like it sounded like therapy. Like super vulnerable. Yeah. Like like really far down the introspective hallway he went. And it amazes me. The guy's storytelling is just you know when you start out with that great story album? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You would think that at some point the storytelling ability would lower, and it Damn. don't. He it, he, look what you. He just paint say, a he, picture. He started out with the great storytelling album. Look at Damn, the the last record on Damn. How he told that story of of his pops and and mm-hmm. you know what and, I'm saying uh, and on top. top. Yeah, like he got stories that he just ain't tapping. No, he's like Mister Story. There's, yeah. This album, the high, the, I'm I'm with Ice, but I probably, I probably like a lot more of it. The songs I don't like, I don't like, mm-hmm. um, and I don't know which songs those are because yeah. I certainly wasn't looking at the phone. Yeah. Um, I look at Twitter, nothing like. No, no, I had that shit sitting over there, and I sat on the couch. You listen to another the Father Tom record is another one I love. Yeah, like, that first, the first, the first, uh, what is it, uh? The first half of the project, yeah, or one through first, first, first disc. disc, the first di- disc one. At the end of it, I was like, "All right, go Kendrick." Mm-hmm. But at the end of disc two, this that half is where he left Earth to me. Let me ask y'all, and then this is just my little takeaway. Do it almost seem like because the title is Mister Morale and the Big Steppers, right? Mm-hmm. Do it seem like the disc was switched around, or is it just me? Maybe. Like, I take the first nine is more the big stepper shit. And mm. the second nine is the Mr. Morale. There's actually, the track Mr. Morale is in it, the I was going to say, is that what makes you think that? No, or is it's there just like, listening to, like Joe said, that's where he got deep into the introspective bag. Right. Mr. Morale. He left Earth. He did. He absolutely left Earth. When I, we listen on the way here, and um. Uh, can you go to the second half? I think Savior's the name of the interlude. Yeah, the Savior interlude. Mm-hmm. And that shit was rocking and he was going crazy. And I'm like, wait a minute. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> cut it off. Why would you make this interlude? <laughs> and then the song came on. Nah, that's that's uh, Baby Keem on that interlude. That's all Baby Keem. I don't care. I'm just but talking I'm just saying, about yeah, yeah. the rapping on the interlude. Mm-hmm. Oh, and good for Baby Keem. Um, you can definitely hear Keem's influence on this album a lot in a good way. And then that song came on. Right. That 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 song. That song is crazy. That music, the music, the music. This is some of the best music I've heard on a Kendrick album. And it goes without saying, but it's so different. You know, it's the same reason why I love Donda so much. Is like it doesn't sound like anything else out there. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's a standalone. There's not the only thing that you could say would probably fit in a quote unquote playlist would be the Blast record, I guess. You know, like a. a uh, the first, what's it called, a list on Apple or something like that. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no. Oh, he got like I think it's two. He got two yeah. records. What's the I other one? Um, on the summer one. That one. That could fit. And scroll, scroll up, Alex. Excuse me. Uh, I believe it's oh, Rich Spirit. Oh, okay. that's the other one. Rich Spirit is a bop that could go on a playlist. Okay. But still, that was one thing for me. I guess I don't know if it's a criticism because I actually don't like playlist music. Is it was hard. It's hard for me on first listen to decipher the bops. What's going to be a bop like mm-hmm. that you want to play at a party, a function? But there's a couple on there. Yeah, these they stood out to me. Yeah, because Kendrick usually don't make music that you want to play at the. Not trying to be funny, but that's not really. That's not what it's for. Yeah, it's not his bag. But he usually has a. Couple he has on a record every here or there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but that's not his bag. Except for Dan was almost all more on the pop, clinging yeah. side of things. But go Which, back. Good Kid, Mad City had him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, Tampa Butterfly had one or All two. All right, yeah. So he, it, it happens, but on here they pop right out to me. As mm-hmm. I'm listening, okay, this is a poppy record. This is this is made to be played over here. You can, he got some records you could play at the kickback. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't expect that. So that was a nice surprise there. See, I, I don't think that's out of his wheelhouse. So, like, I, w- I would have been mad. That's why part of why I was mad at to pimp a butterfly. I'm like, oh come on, man! I know you could get get your other shit off. 
<laughs> like, and yeah, I'd have been mad if those weren't here. I left fulfilled. I cried on this album, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, he, he nestled those in between some yeah, of the I most got, intense fucking yeah, songs yeah. we've ever heard in our he entire was lives. hugging on the heart strings on this shit. Yeah, that shit about his about the, the Auntie Diaries record. Man. Is, like, even the way he just tied it all in with, with the cousin, and it, that's just, that was crazy. And I haven't heard anything like that ever. Yeah, he, Kendrick is the band, but I'm always laughing at his voice. <laughs> See, that's why, and that, that was the reason why I'm always laughing at his voice. My first listen, I need Cause for that, Cause that's his you good. don't know. He yeah, won't, he won't give you, you, know how, you know how hard it is. You're a vocalist. To do, to like, yes. get that clear. <laughs> yes. And on beat and still sound uh, uh, intriguing while being that laid back. That's yeah. a fucking difficult thing to do, yo. No, he's like a vocal. He's like Beyonce in his vocal cords. Yeah. He can do anything. Him and Nicki are the ones that do that now, right? And that's it. They're the leaders of the pack, I would say, as far as being able to change vocal tones, like, fairly uh, flawlessly. Yeah. Like at the drop of a dime. Like it's almost. Like Nicki's monster uh, verse. It's damn near. It's damn near. I put Thug in there, too. Huh? I put Thug in there, too. Yeah, okay. Thug does that. Uses his his voice as like an instrument. For sure. On the the record. But he has, he has, even though it's tuned, but he's still. Well, no, I don't care about that. Doug is amazing to me. So I don't want to sound, what I was going to say, he has less gears. I just, I would, I'll put it that way. Like, like okay. Kendrick and, and, and Nikki have six gears. Doug can go the same speed, but he's only got maybe four gears. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, agree. I don't want to sound no, disrespectful to Doug. That. No, that's like not Doug. disrespect. I, yeah. I, I get what you mean by that. But yeah, I'm, I'm. Like you, I'm fulfilled with the album. And I know it's only going to get better as I keep listening. I got to get this in This is the something car. that I am going to... It's not a one and done album for me. Nah. I need to hear them instruments. Yeah. And like, yeah. Dog, I was playing around with different headphones. Like, nah, 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 nah. I need, <laughs> I need, I need, I need the beats for this. Nah, tell I need, me, I tell me who else dropped. Tori tried to sneak something out there. Oh, that's fine. That sounds the Lucy, right? Post Malone dropped the, uh, the single. For real? Yeah. With Roddy Rich. Is it good? Yeah, y'all slacking I didn't hear on it. y'all Mackin. Huh? I know you you slacking on your Mackin? Yeah. Man, <laughs> there was one album. That was, was the point. Yeah. Kendrick, that, Kendrick the, just kept niggas off their iPhone. Yes. Listen, that was the whole point. Like funny, I, I, I saw Tori announce, yo, new music dropping tonight. I was like, yo, that's dope. I'm going to listen to it, but it ain't going to be about Saturday, Sunday, though, bro. Word. Sorry. At best. Man, hip hop froze, yo. Stop it. Yeah. You, you can feel that shit in your home. You could feel that shit. Hip hop froze. Everybody stopped. This was a moment. Everybody was waiting for People this. People were like Thursday ready. You know what I'm saying? Like sitting by the phone, listening to the whole discography. I, that was like, me. That yeah. was me. Yo, I was. I ran. I got a whole Kendrick playlist of about maybe 120. I was just running records. That's some other shit, yo. Just prepping myself. When you get the whole world <laughs> on standby, waiting for like a. That's. It's like some old school shit. Like, if you could pre-order it, I would have pre-ordered it. I guess you I, t- I talked to one of my peoples in LA. He was like, yo, this shit's like a holiday out here. I'm sure. He was like, yo, everything is stopped. Mm-hmm. This is all we waiting for. Yeah, the impact of certain dudes, yo, man. It's good to yeah. see. Yeah. It is good to it's watch. Dope. You got you to gotta feel that. It must be a feeling, yo. For man, him and the team, his just, team. Meanwhile, he over in for, Africa somewhere. Dog, for Chilling anybody. Or, <laughs> or he made me want to go Ghana. I got to go to Ghana to see Kendrick. <laughs> For real, I gotta see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just to have the world on your ass, pause. Yeah. Like that's dope. And no then, to, like you said, to go to Ghana to celebrate is even something that you don't see everyone else be doing. Felon and yeah. you know what I mean, SNL and whatever. It's very else. Kendricky. Yeah, yo. In hindsight, man, everything about this was Kendricky. Who put that marketing budget in their pocket? They ain't market shit. <laughs> Not at all. He didn't, they ain't do shit. Need to, didn't need to. <laughs> right to the pocket. <laughs> Fair. Yo, check this out. I'm going to announce it all those, on those my website. Custom, custom pajamas him and his wife got on up there. They ain't, they ain't no cheap shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole marketing budget right there? <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I'm just saying, yeah. the power in that. For real. That's like See, that's when you know you really him. Remember I said there's a couple, like, that, that's a him that could just... I don't got to market shit. Give me my deep fake video. 
I'm oh. going to drop my heart. That's not no, going to no, be no. on this album. Let's go before that. Let's go before that. My letter. I'm going to drop my letter on my website and then go quiet for months. Talk about a, a, a dream for a label or an exec. Yeah. Like we don't have to do anything. You know yeah, what I'm look at his like, wardrobe budget. <laughs> <laughs> Same as mine's. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga album release was in Ghana. That's dope. That's dope, dope. No bullshit. That's some fly shit. Look at these guys, man. This guy is sick. This guy is sick. And I hate to break it to you guys. From the sound of this album, we ain't about to hear from this nigga no <laughs> time soon. Fact. Enjoy That's this. Fact. Hey, you thought this five years was long? Uh-huh. Hell no. He about to baby keem you niggas to, to death. And Thanks. he about to get married. He's married. He's married. He's married. Uh, they said fiance. No, that's just my wife. I say, wife. well, I don't know. I don't, I'm just saying, but it's baby time. And uh, baby time, though, that's what I was getting ready to yeah, say. If you see when he dropped the album cover, that's how he even said, y'all have a second child. That's dope. Yeah. Like, yo, y'all know nothing. I love an artist that could just not let you know shit. I'll let you know what's about my life when I want you to know it. We don't do the blogs. We don't do none of that shit. And this have how you this much out. fucking impact. You know what I mean? That's like, dope. that shit is amazing. Yeah. I love that cover. This is one of the best covers I've. I can't believe you I've changed seen. that. It says black. I just wanted a simple cover. That's all. It's not, I just just made something simple. That's just, simple. Just, I just extra. changed the cover. <laughs> no, it's extra. You know. Job well done. Yeah. Amazing project. Sorry, all y'all who was coming to me looking for some hate. Sorry. Why they wanted you to hate? They wanted because because I didn't because of my take on the heart. So they wanted me to hate this too. Yo, that was you got to say that was mid, and the album is mid, and I all seen this is mid. I oh, two pack of ass. You got to hear jokes. I said, Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I don't even think I ever did a review for uh, To Pimp a Butterfly. Actually, <laughs> I avoided that shit like a plague. <laughs> that, that was the review. Nah, that was too healthy for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was. You might have to go back and listen to it. There's some shit on there, man. Every time, all I right try, is on I'll there. Like, yeah, Mortal Man's on there. Hmm. Mortal Man. Or, uh, Mortal Man's on. Yeah. So, um. My record on there. You and I, but I like both of them shits too. It's it's a couple. Like I said, it's a few records. Just overall, I don't fuck with that album though. I love that album. This is the one that ended with uh, Tupac with the Tupac. poem, right? Mm-hmm. No, with the Tupac. Yeah, they was preaching. Yeah, yeah. No, this the one. Uh, <laughs> you cannot make me go back to this. I'm not going back to this. <laughs> There's a certain shit that's just too healthy, but I don't know if we get this without this. No, you don't. You don't. We don't. You don't at all. We don't. Absolutely don't. We don't. And I'm like the. I'm. I'm clear. I'm the minority in that. No. Well. Yeah. I'm very clear. I'm in the what? minority in how I feel about uh, to pimp a butterfly. But it's not a small minority though. Oh, I wouldn't know because because I don't go around talking to people about the things I don't like. <laughs> well, sometimes. Not in real life. Oh, right. Only because I'm paid to do it. Here. <laughs> but in real life, I don't do it. Um. But this album. Ish, how'd you feel? Chef's about it? Kiss. You've been kind of quiet. Did you listen to it all? I didn't hear the whole thing. Okay. I probably heard about eight, maybe eight, nine songs. I'm kind of curious, like as a, as a Kendrick non fan. Um, here, at mother, I sober because I was nah, throwing I my hat I, around the car. I heard it on slam the phone the down, yeah. the hat. Yeah. Uh, if I could, if I could have gave him a standing ovation at that moment, <laughs> I would have in the car. So yeah, I feel you. How many times do you hear an audio project make you cry? Like a song? <laughs> like or, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not a movie, <laughs> but it is. All right, my bad. You were saying? No, it's cool. Um, I I like some of the tracks. Mm. Um, and I like most of the lyrics. Actually, mm. I'm I'm never saying he he not lyrically inclined. He Kid. he's a poet. Yeah, a good poet. Yeah, a, a, an exceptional poet. Uh-huh. I'm talking about musically and sonically. Sometimes they don't make a marriage, and so I think when you're talking about music. It's supposed to make you feel a certain way. You're supposed to be easy listening. It's music. So this is you're, basically you're saying this is more of the heart for you. Because I feel no, like no, that no, was no, your no, review no, of no, the heart. No, no, no. That was my review of the heart. Uh-huh. With this particular, um, I heard a bunch of the songs. I liked some of them. Um, a couple of them really wasn't for me. But again, I ain't get through the whole thing yet. So, but musically, a lot of the beats be dope. I like the beat on the heart. I just don't think the lyrics in the beat matched. I like the lyrics on the heart. I didn't think that they made a good marriage. 
So okay. lyrically, if you write the word, like I said, he looked at the lyrics first. Right. When you look at the lyrics first, or even Alex pulling up the lyrics on paper, how do you deny what he's saying? The nigga is saying shit that anybody from an inner city urban area has experienced, and some of us have experienced it firsthand in our own households. Mm -hmm. So you can't deny what he's saying on the songs. But that don't necessarily mean because he's spitting some dope fly shit that it makes a good song. Joe, one of favorite rappers on paper, I don't like Joe's beat selection. And for a lot of songs And they don't like you I know <laughs> But you get what I'm saying yeah. and I, So I'm not being a hater I'm not doing none of that I'm just saying When it comes to music How, how do I You said it <laughs> Like Ja Rule I'm not comparing Ja Rule to Kendrick What I'm saying is Ja Rule is good listening Niggas love Ja Rule songs I'm not saying that Ja is The same bag as Kendrick But what I'm saying is Musically You could cut on some Ja Rule shit And really be entertained And be pleased you're not going to get the same feeling that you get when you hear Kendrick, but everybody not looking for that feeling all the time. You think Ja could be Kendrick in a verses? Never. Um, ooh, yes. It might. I'm going to say yes. It might. So that's not a, it that ain't an easy win. No. I say no, too. It's not an easy win. Depends on who the audience is. It definitely is very, very heavily dependent upon who the audience is. No, Joe Biden. I'm not for daddy.